It's Sunny and Finn's Wrestling and Video Game Podcast. This week, we discuss Final Fantasy XV, go over the games of December, and give our predictions for WWE TLC. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 41 of the Sunny and Finn Show. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, been good. Haircut. Yeah, you haven't a haircut. Feeling, feeling fresh. Awesome. Feeling better now after last week? Yeah, I'm feeling better. I'm like, I think I'm on the, in the last stages of like a, a cold. Cool, okay. So uh, I'm feeling much better than I did last week. Excellent. In a, a year that I've been just plagued <laughs> with illness. Yeah, nasty. Yeah, it sucks. Better now though. All good. Yeah. Tw- well, 2017 is going to be a good year. I hope so. After this year, it better be. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> a crappy illness year for me. For yeah. Sure. I can't deal with it again. No, don't blame me. I might uh, trade my body parts into science <laughs> for them to do research on to why I'm so ill all the time. <laughs> and in turn, they can give me robot parts. Oh, sweet. And then I don't have to be ill. You'd be like uh, Adam Jensen from, uh, from Deus Ex. Yes, and if I look half as cool as that, I'd be so happy. <laughs> yeah, just built in some glasses. And- yeah, exactly. I never wrestled this. The most, <laughs> most smoothest voice of all time. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Sunny and Finn Show. Oh, right, yeah. I don't know why it would change my voice, but it definitely would. <laughs> Vocal implants. Not that they're a thing. <laughs> <laughs> why is my impression so good? <laughs> I need to really play that game more. Yeah, same. Maybe like five minutes. And <laughs> Me too. God damn it. <laughs> I got to Prague and then was like, I've got other games to play. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, same. Uh, I never asked for these many games to play. Too many games. Too many games, not enough time. Adam Jensen voice. Yeah. Uh, whole podcast is going to be like this now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could do the whole podcast. Like, okay, no, yeah, same. I don't know, actually. Maybe I could. Yeah, maybe. I'm not going to, but maybe I could. <laughs> oh, man. Good start to the podcast. Strong. Very good. Strong. I, Strong did, um, uh, I did a fairness and diversity course at work today. Oh, yeah. And they brought up um, the Fine and Sam Quran page. Oh, really? <laughs> and they, no the guy um, who was doing the course... He was like, does anyone know about this? And I was there. I was like, yeah. yes. Dad, yep. Yes, sir. I know. I, was like, I know about this. I was like, oh, okay, tell us about it. So I, I told him, you know, I felt like the smartest person in the room awesome. for knowing something about Fine and Sam at yeah. that point. <laughs> there you go. It's, it's by God's good to Yeah. I even said, I was like, yeah, we did a bit about it on our podcast and this is what it is. And then nice. there was people asking me questions about it, like some kind of Fine and Sam <laughs> slash Quran expert. Awesome. <laughs> So that was good times. The, the podcast is like, oh, you can listen to it on, our, on SoundCloud. That's the new podcast. Well, we have to give uh, like an interesting uh, interesting fact about ourselves. I hate that. Uh, yeah, God, it's the worst. I hate those stupid things. Give us your name, what department you work in, and so, uh, give us an interesting fact. This is, uh, I, I, like, I play video games. Is that interesting? Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> like, it was like, um, we, uh, I do a podcast that goes out worldwide. It's about video games. Yeah. And you got some woman going, oh, my daughters uh, are into, you know, watching people on YouTube. Is that what you do? It's like, yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Don't go and watch our Call of Duty streams. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, that was chaos, wasn't it? It was hilarious. So we did a Call of Duty oh. um, Zombies in Spaceland stream this one day this week. Monday? Uh, sure. That sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, Monday, yeah. Um, like, it was going fine. It was just like a normal stream for us on YouTube. And then, like, the comments, like, one girl came into the comments. Yeah. And then it, that's it. It's been crazy for, like, well, I, I, how many comments were there in the end? Oh, loads. Because obviously it must have been going off on your screen because you were the one streaming it. Yeah, yeah. But it was nuts, yeah. But it's just like, one, yeah, there's just one girl makes an appearance and then it's like, some other guy trying to flirt with her, whatever. Yeah. It's like, ah. Uh. It's like a, a magnet for outrageous comments. It was. It's ridiculous. And God, that like, it. the back, the back end of the stream is just us laughing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much like, all the time because the comments were superb. I mean, the girl was fine with it. The lads were being flirty and whatever. Yeah. But the, the girl seemed fine with it. Um, you know, we we did sort <laughs> of say, you know, keep it light. Yeah, it'd be, be nice. Yeah, <laughs> don't be too weird. Yeah, yeah. You'd be weird. I mean, that, it's the internet. Everyone's weird. Of course. But just be okay. Yeah. Be respectful. Be respectful. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There you go. This is the Sunny and Finn <laughs> Show. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Finn. Hello. Let's cut the bullshit. Okay. Talk to me about Final Fantasy 15. I know you've been playing it. What game is that? What Final Fantasy what? 
It's like this game that's been made been being made for like the last ten years. Uh yeah, I think I've heard of that. Dudes with fancy <laughs> hair and they all ride in a car. Tell me about it. Are you enjoying it? Yes or no? Yes. End of discussion. Uh no, it was it's amazing. It's everything I wanted, pretty much. Uh, yeah. it feels like a Final Magic game. It's uh combat is a bit different. Um they've gone in a, a different direction, but it's a good direction to go in, I think. Um it still feels like a Final Magic game, the strategy is still there, um, the vibes are still there, the music is amazing. Um, just the interaction between all the characters is just great, and I like the attention to detail as well. It's like going into like a little, like restaurant thing, and looking at like all the bits and pieces, like the posters, and there's a little corner. There's another poster um, that you read, and like, and the, one of your characters says something about it. And just a little ins- insignificant little thing that's there. They put the time in there. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Well, they've had ten years. They've had ten years to do it. Yeah. So they don't so want the so. details in there. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice. It's yeah, it's amazing. What do you think? What do you think as non fundamental fan? Yeah, it's, I mean, like, the first, like, the splash screen before you go into the game says this is a Final Fantasy game for uh, Final Fantasy players and new players alike. Yeah, I like that. Worse to that effect. Um, and it feels good. I mean, you, you are right. I'm, I'm a non Final Fantasy player. I played some of seven on PlayStation 1, some of eight, maybe. Okay. Um, and that's it. Hmm. I mean, I played Final Fantasy. Zero. Type zero, yeah. I thought that was quite cool. Yeah. I mean, this is completely different to that. <laughs> yeah, so different. Like completely different. Yeah. But I like it. It's, uh, since I put it on, I liked, um, the characters. Mm-hmm. I like their interaction. I like, they're just a group of, group of guys, group of friends, uh, going on this journey to get one of them married. Yeah, pretty and much. You know, so, you know, the graphics are gorgeous. That's so one good. thing that I noticed straight away. Uh, that, that opening cutscene, you could, the hair and <laughs> facial expressions. Yeah. Like when you've been playing a crap game like WWE 2K17 <laughs> where they don't know what hair is clearly. <laughs> yeah. And then you go into something like this that is, has been perfectly crafted and is, um, very detailed. It's, you know, you really do appreciate the time that goes into making the video games. Yeah. Uh, but this, yeah, um, I liked it. I like, you know, the bit in the beginning where they've got to get out and push the car and <laughs> the fact that they're all fuming about it and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. It's- um, I like it. I mean, I've only played probably an hour and 40 so far. I've you know been in the office today and whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I've not had a chance to play any more. But um, I like that you get side missions from tipsters. Yep, yep. It's like Monster Hunts and whatnot. Yeah, which I think is pretty cool. And it yeah. tells you what level is recommended for doing it, which I like as well. Because I think as a beginner, you don't just go steaming in when yeah. you're going to get your ass handed to you. Definitely not. Um, I like... I don't know. I just like there's different things to do. I mean... I unlocked a ton of trophies, like just in that first bit. Yeah, they, just messing around doing stuff. So yeah, they put a lot of trophies out yeah, early on. Uh, played the the like the arcade game. Oh yeah, um, Justice Fighters or something like that. Just something like that. Monsters. I don't know. Um, but I, I got a trophy for that. Just I got trophies for curiosity more than anything. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of trophies for doing things the first time. It's like the first time you use magic, the first mm. time you drive a car and all that. Yeah, yeah. But um, I like it. The me- the mechanics seem very cool. Yeah. Um. Seems very sort of uh, free flowing. Yeah, say. that's a good. Word. Um, I like when you use the magic. It like it doesn't. It's not just like a little tiny fireball that goes pear, poof. <laughs> it's like a, it change the whole environment changes. Like if you cast fire, the the like ground around it catches fire. If you're like caught in the crossfire, you'll catch fire. Uh, if you cast blizzard, the whole weather changes to ice for a little moment. And you know, if you do like that, you're yeah, covered in ice, and you. Couch goes like blue and <laughs> whatnot. So I've been collecting like, um, like elements so stuff. Cool. Like so, uh, at, it's like they're on the mark on the map, aren't they? So yeah, yeah. You absorb fire and ice and uh, electricity. Mm-hmm. I've not used magic yet. I know there's a trophy for it because I saw it. Oh, yeah. uh, but I haven't used magic yet. Cool. Uh, I like the combat a lot. That that is my sort of combat because yeah. it's like free flowing hack and slash. But there is also strategy to it as well because. You know, if you are in trouble and like the things do come at you pretty, I know there's four of you, so it can look a bit chaotic, but, um, you can get out, you can like, um, like zip over to like a rock or somewhere and then you can then go zip back at the enemy and cause yeah. them a lot of damage and stuff. So That's I like that. Cool. Um, I, and for me, that makes the game a bit more interesting for me because turn based combat is fine. Yeah. But I'm glad that they, this game doesn't have it because I think it makes it more accessible for people like me who, aren't big JRPG guys yeah. and stuff like that. So um, It makes sense in a big open world like this. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's good. 
Okay, um, so okay. the fact that it, they, they have made it accessible for new players, that, that doesn't sort of deter your enjoyment of it. No, not at all. Um, I've always liked like fast based combat, like games like Devil May Cry and whatnot. Um, so it suits me just fine. Um, but yeah, but there is also like a wait mode they've added to it. Um, it's basically when you stop moving, the game stops and you give you a chance to like think about it and you, like check the enemy stats, what the weak, what weaknesses are and all of that. Oh, okay. Which that's cool as well. It's cool they added that just as like an extra thing for people who don't like the more fast paced combat. Sure. And, uh, that's cool. I mean, I'm yeah. going to put uh, more hours into it over the weekend. Uh, I'm really looking forward to thinking, I'm really looking forward to playing it mm. uh, again. I mean, I turned up, the only reason I turned it off last night is because I had to, to go to bed, basically. <laughs> yeah, same. Like, I was like, oh, I've got to go to work in the morning. I, I really should go to bed, but I want to play more. And then, like, when I was going to bed, I couldn't, couldn't stop thinking about it. <laughs> and that's how I knew that I was, that I liked it. Yeah. I can't definitely. wait to see. Like, I'm still in that little bit. I just, you know, where around the, uh, the mechanics, where the, 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 the mechanic, I don't feel like she's dressed suitably for the <laughs> task in hand. I don't know what you mean. I always wear that kind of thing when I fix my car. Yeah. 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 You just like top and, sort of on and push your boobs up and. Yeah. All the time. Okay, so you don't get oil all over your boobs or nothing like that. It's, you, yeah. You're fine? Yeah, it's totally fine, yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm still around that part, um, I think. I've just... Maybe I've driven up the road a little bit. Cool. No, no, I've just gone back there because I did a task... I don't know. Well, either way, I'm still around <laughs> that that same area, so I'm still in the deserty type bit. Yeah. So I can't wait to see what's further up the road and what kind of environments I'm going to see. And, yeah, same. Um, yeah, I'm... It's, it's what I wanted from it as well. Being a non-Final Fantasy player and being excited to see what this was going to be after 10 years in development or whatever, um, seeing what it was going to be like for um, a non-JRPG player. And uh, I'm very impressed. And I, I'm, I really can't wait to play more. Yeah, same. It's so, so good. Um, now, how much have you played so far? Probably about the same as much. About, 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 oh, have you not about played today? Uh, not, not yet today, no. Been uh, doing other things. Um, I'll play my streaming tonight, actually. Yeah. Um, that'd be cool. Yeah, but, but um, I am, I am very, very impressed. I like the, I like the characters. The English voice acting is great. Yep. I think it's interesting that they give you the option at the beginning to, uh, have Japanese subtitles and English speaking or vice versa. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like they've recorded it in German, so many languages. French, yeah. <laughs> but I like it. The upgrade tree, um, looked a bit much to me at first. <laughs> But when I sort of took the time to read what I was upgrading and seeing then how it did affect my character in game, because, you know, you do feel yourself getting stronger. Oh, yeah. Like, when you first start, obviously, you are level zero or level one, and the the characters are more powerful than you, but now, uh, sorry, the enemies are more powerful than you, and then, you know, I'm like level five or something now. Yep. Uh, which, which is, like I said, we've played barely anything in this. <laughs> and then, like, these level two guys, are the bad guys are, are nothing. Like, you can just, you literally just whoop them. Yeah, I like the like uh, experience points, like just a minute. Like you don't gain them straight away. You like bank them, and then when you rest, like either a camp or uh, wherever, you then get it all the all the adds to your character, and then you level up. I like that too. The reason being is because it doesn't stop the game. Because yeah. like you know, you know, when, when you XP in anything, like you XP, you, you level up in Skyrim. You want to go and do it straight away. You want to go yeah. level up, then pick your, you know, your your skill tree and all that sort of stuff. Whereas this, you know, you get to a certain point in the day, you rest, and then the whole team levels up at the same time, mm-hmm. and then you can sort of mess around with it. So, and I think that's really good because it doesn't stop the game, um, and it does give you that sense of uh, that the game is free flowing and it's just going to carry on, and you do things when you want to do them. Yeah, seriously. And I think that's great. I think that's really, really cool. But yeah, it's awesome. I'm super looking forward to like checking out the rest of the game as well. Just like I saw, there's a skill for. That gives you AP for chocobo racing. It's like, oh, there's chocobo racing in this game. That's awesome. Yeah, cause you can call them, <laughs> can't you? From um, like there's, there's there's bird calling places. So yeah, I'm yeah. Because assu- I'm assuming that will then produce a chocobo, and you can go ride it around. But yep. I guess further on into the game, you'll get to a, like maybe a stadium or something like that, and then you can race chocobo. Or yeah, whatever, that but, so cool. Um, it. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> excited to see what's going on. I'm really excited to see what's down the road, and it is literally down the road because <laughs> you are on a highway at the start yeah. in this uh, cool-looking car. Um, very cool. Customization looks very cool as well. Yeah. Um, for purely pure in the game, we've got like a uh, decal of like 8-bit or 16-bit characters you can have on the side of your car. Yeah. Um, it's um, cool. Cindy automatically put them on my car, actually. Yeah, same, yeah. Um, but I noticed that at vendors, you could buy auto parts, and I was thinking, Jesus, this is in <laughs> depth. But then you click in auto parts, and it is literally... Uh, decals and yeah, uh, soundtrack. Yeah, for the radio. Yeah, I love that. It can it could give you like soundtracks of old games, like 
yeah. on fundamental games, which is super cool. You can listen to yeah that forever. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's pretty awesome. And then um, the driving was is interesting. Hmm, it, um, it's kind of like on the rails driving. You can't like drive off the road and go crazy and run over stuff. <laughs> which is good because otherwise good. you could go crazy. You could, you know. I think for the style of game that it is, it doesn't need like um, free driving. Yeah, you need like GTA style. No, it doesn't. Driving, all, no. Um, but you can like if you want to go off the road, you can get a jockey and wind around on that. Yeah. So they still got that thing. Kind you're of not lock, start locking lamp posts down and ridiculous <laughs> things and causing no. complete chaos to the environment because um, it doesn't need it. And I th- exactly, it it does what it needs to do. And I think that's. Um, I mean, we've barely scratched the surface, so I can't wait to see what is uh, ahead. But from what I've seen so far, I'm, I am very impressed, and I I just can't wait to see more of the world because I mean you know you see we've seen pictures and all that sort of stuff and the environments look fantastic we played the demo and again even then at that early stage the the environments look great so I can't wait to see how they've been refined and what's coming next yeah so we're going to look forward to getting my first summon that was very cool in the episode Dusk Cave and the summon rumour or okay. whatever his name is <laughs> but uh, yeah it's super cool in this game yeah it, it, I mean it, there certainly seems like there's a, an awful lot to look forward to for Definitely. casuals uh, and sort of experienced Final Fantasy players. Yep, yep. Have you been playing anything else? Um, speaking of Final Fantasy, we're playing World of Final Fantasy. Are you like, still playing it? Still playing it. Uh, still getting through it. That's a really fun game. Just like a cute little Pokemon style. Beautiful looking game. game too. Yeah, looks super great. Um, we've got XCOM 2. Playing some of that. Stream some of that. Yeah. Uh, making characters based on friends of the show and uh, our, our faithful commenters. And killing friends of the show also. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally stumbled myself into like a DLC mission which is super difficult. And got most of my team killed. Um, I've prepared to do to an earlier save now, so everyone's back to life, and I'll skip that mission for now and go back to the main game. It is tough, though. Uh, it's super steep, tough. Real steep learning curve, but yeah. it, it's it, it feels rewarding when you do succeed in a mission. You do oh, keep yeah. people alive. Yeah, when, when you when you like you plan out something and it goes up and goes to plan, it's like oh yeah, that felt awesome. Um, what I love is you know like when like you you've picked to shoot the alien, mm. like when he when you do <laughs> shoot and. It, it re- it hits the alien. You're like, yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, back. stay down, bitch. Yeah, you're dead, bitch. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I like even though you're not controlling the gun, like you know, like an FPS or even a third person or anything like that. You know, it still feels like you've done it, and you get the satisfaction of that. And I think that's really cool. Yeah, so you see cool. why it's so lauded. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that's about it as far as games this week. How about you? Um, I've still been playing Watch Dogs. Sweet. Still absolutely loving it. Um, when we do a favourite games of the year podcast I absolutely <laughs> think it's going to be on there yeah it's about me because uh, I've really really enjoyed it awesome um, I've started playing um, Pez 2017 again oh yeah and I've started doing a, a YouTube series based on that cool uh, I've just uploaded my last episode it should be on YouTube now as we record this excellent uh, I've been playing through the Champions League with Borussia Dortmund and I've really enjoyed it actually I've really enjoyed sort of um, especially while I've been ill, it's given me something to sort of focus my attention on. Yeah. Um, just record episodes, talk over the top of them, and then put them out there. Good stuff. Uh, but now that one's done, I'm going to do a Europa League with my team, Manchester United. Sweet. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing that as well. But it's something that I've, I've really enjoyed doing. Yeah, good. Good stuff. That's pretty much it, to be honest. I mean, um, I don't, I've, I don't feel like I've been, been playing games. Like, we've been streaming mm-hmm. so much. We have, yeah. And recording, like, putting so much content out there. I don't feel like I've sat down and, put hours into a game like the most hour I mean I played Watch Dogs a lot over the weekend when I was ill but um, other than that I mean we've played some WWE we played our universe mode which is awesome so cool yeah <laughs> uh, so I'm looking forward to carrying on with that same uh, I've been playing I've uh, been playing PES 2017 and yeah that's pretty much it awesome good stuff yeah um, there isn't really any gaming news this week slow slow news week Not uh, coming lot. up to Christmas I think that's going to be you know, a, a trend. Pretty much, yeah. Kick off again at the beginning of next year, but um, um, PSX, which is PlayStation's um annual or well, now annual event, yeah, um, is this coming weekend. Excellent. So we're gonna, we wanted to so talk about that, what we want from the show, what we're expecting, and make a couple of predictions as well. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what are you expecting from the PlayStation experience this uh, this year? Um, well, I think they're going to talk about. More of the games are coming out uh, early next year. Uh, so we've got like, more Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, we're going to talk about the new God of War a bit more, maybe. I think uh, they said that they weren't going to say anything or really? show anything of God of War. All oh, right, okay. 
Fair enough. Um, Tell me, um, do you feel like we need to see more Horizon Zero Dawn at this point? Um, we have seen quite a lot. Uh, they might show it off running on a PlayStation 4 Pro. Just see, like, look how cool the PS4 Pro is and 4K, blah, blah, blah. But we've already seen that as well. We saw that at the PlayStation Pro event. True. I feel like now I've seen enough of this game to convince me that it's going to be great. And I've, you know, I'm, I'm ready. You know, if they brought it out tomorrow, I'd buy it. <laughs> yeah, same. But like, I feel like they don't need to show this anymore. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, you probably don't need to say it, but I think it'll be there in some capacity, even if it's just like a quick trailer. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I do think we'll see it. I just no. don't think we need to. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <coughs> um. <coughs> Feeling alright? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I, I, I took a heavy breath. <laughs> oh, choking. And it's like, a, I'm just cho- choking on oxygen. <laughs> That's, That's what I'm <laughs> Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not sure if somebody crash HD collection that they uh, announced at E3. I mean, I feel like we need to see that. I hope so. It'd be nice. At least something, at least a trailer, or at least some of what the game's going to look like, because yeah. they, they must be rebuilding those games from the ground up. They can't just oh, yeah, be seriously. putting a lick of paint on Crash 1, 2, and 3 on, you know, from PS1. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, they made a big deal out over it on E3 with like how they came out and they had like Crash Bandicoot Shadow on the stage. Um, but announced like, oh, it's going to be in Lego games. Isn't that cool? Is that, oh. Oh, it's going to be <laughs> oh, Skylanders. Skylanders, that's it, not Lego. Um, but yeah. So hopefully we'll see some of that. Maybe a new Crash Bandicoot as well they announce? Maybe? Mm, could happen. Maybe not. Um, I don't know. Any more VR stuff, maybe? Hopefully? Yeah, I think we need to see what's next for VR games. Yeah. We've, we've had the first lot now. Uh, we've had it for a couple of months, and uh, we've enjoyed it for a couple of months, but I think we need to see what's what games they've got next, because I mean, we know mm. they've got Resident Evil 7 coming. Yeah, we'll totally see that as well. Do you think that's coming in January? I mean, that's soon. That's like two months. Do you think that's coming in January? Um, well, they have a history of uh, releasing games quickly. Like, Resident Evil 6 was announced uh, in the same year it came out. True. Um, so, I wouldn't be surprised if we see it. I, see, I hope you do. But doesn't it just seem really soon? It does. <laughs> it like does. It shouldn't be coming out that like then. It's like they they gave us a little kitchen teaser, and now all of a sudden it's coming out in like a month. Yeah, it doesn't feel real to me. Like <laughs> I'll believe it when it's downloaded on the console. But, yeah. Um, I mean, I hope it does. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll yeah, be pissed off if it doesn't come out in January. Now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. It just, it just, it just doesn't feel like it should be coming out in January. It's, I know you mean, yeah, it does feel sudden, but I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think we'll see more Resident Evil and they, but I think we need to see, going back to VR, I think we do need to see what, what we're going to get. So uh, even if it's just like a sizzle reel of stuff that we're going to get next year. Yeah, I think so. Cause we had, we had this year's Battle Games come out and a few little indie games come out as well. Uh, we need to see what what's next for VR, for sure. And I, I'm I'm 100 certain that we are going to see VR. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> they can't just veto it and then like yeah. and not show it. Don't, don't, it has to be there. Yeah, exactly. I think it's the same thing. Don't don't do, don't put a place in veto and just pretend yeah. it exists. They can't afford to. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, other than that, oh, they've said there's going to be a Death Stranding panel. Uh, not sure what we're going to talk about because that game's not going to come out for a long time. Long uh, time. Long long time. What did we, what did we say a few weeks back? We're like, <laughs> 2018 or something? Yeah, 2018 at the earliest. Earliest, Probably 2020, yeah. more likely. Um, I don't I have no idea what that game's going to be about. Same. It's about a naked Norman Reedus and a baby. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, the thing is, if you've got nothing to show us, just bugger off until you have. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, even if, you, like, if you've got, like, we have no idea what this game is. We have no idea what the gameplay is. Story, nothing. Yeah. All that we know is that the guy from The Walking Dead is in it, and Hideo Kojima is producing it pretty much that's it so if you've got nothing more than that at PSX <laughs> don't bother turning it up just stay at home yeah don't don't pull out like a last Guardian or Final Fantasy 15 and just announce it and then just not release it for like 10 years or whatever yeah it's just, yeah. just go away work <laughs> on it and then come back when you've got a really trailer awesome. of some sort yeah so it's something some gameplay at least yeah um, but yeah other than that um, of course they'll announce uh, Shenmue 1 and 2 HD uh, as you know it's definitely going to happen this, this year <laughs> <laughs> It's coming out, I believe. You're out of your mind. I'm not out of my mind. It's got to believe. Like, Rapper the Rapper. you got to believe. I'd love a Rapper the Rapper 3. That'd be cool, actually, yeah. Like, give us that. That'd be cool, yeah. I'll be, I'll be down. Don't have Hideo <laughs> Kojima there. <laughs> have whoever makes Rapper the Rapper there. Yeah. And tell and get them to announce a third one. Yeah. How, how can it be? I'll yeah, write it's... the songs for it if they really have to. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, that'd be cool. Maybe maybe give it, make like a make your own Rapper the Rapper songs. Like a Mario Maker, but Rapper the Rapper. Yeah, I mean, sure. It's <laughs> paper graphics, it's fine. Yeah. 
Sure. I'd love that. <laughs> or perhaps the Rapper HD collection. Sure. Sure. Why not? <laughs> um, there's a couple uh, of things that, I, I mean, I th- we'll, we'll, we will see the stuff that's already been announced. Yep. Um, minus God of War, they said they're not going to show anything. Or, th- I mean, they'll show it as part of a sizzle reel, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, hardly. Uh, we'll see some Days Gone. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll see Horizon. Um, I think um, we're going to definitely see the Uncharted 4 single-player DLC announced. Oh, uh, yeah. Good point. Um, and I think it's going to come March 2017. Nice. And be focused around Sam and Sully. Nothing has been um, confirmed. I mean, the rumours suggest that it is Sam and Sully, but I think that's what's going to be the case, and I think they'll show that. Yeah, that inspired me. And something else that has been rumoured, but so I'm going to make a prediction now. Okay. Uh, I think they're going to announce Marvel vs. Capcom 4. Oh, uh, yeah. I, didn't see and that, I think so. it's going to be a PlayStation 4 exclusive, mm. and we're going to see it uh, summer 2017. Awesome. I love uh, 3, 2 and 3. Uh Great games. And I think it's going to run on the same engine that Street Fighter Five ran on. Wins about me. With tweaks, because Street Fighter Five has its problems. It's not mm. a perfect game by any stretch. Um, but yeah, I, I think that I think we're going to see Marvel vs. Capcom 4. Ooh. But, um, you know, like the uh, Spider-Man game that they've got coming out for PlayStation 4, which is also a PS4 exclusive, awesome. I think, and like Street Fighter Five, also an exclusive, I think Marvel vs. Capcom 4 will be as well. Yeah, and that'll piss me. people off. It will. <laughs> oh yeah, but, <laughs> big time. I mean, Street Fighter Five pissed people off, and people were over it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think so. You can get it on um, PC as well, so it's fine. Whatever. Yeah, I think it'd be the same deal. I think you'll get Marvel vs. Capcom Four on PC as well. Yeah, but I think that's what's going to happen. Yep, wouldn't surprise me. Um, good, good get from Sony if, if it's true. Um, oh yeah, I mean, if imagine if Sony managed to lock down the Marvel license for wow. PlayStation exclusivity, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Yeah, because uh, honestly, Xbox doesn't really have a whole lot. Exclusive wise, that I want to get um, Scalebound, and that's really it. <laughs> Gears of War. Where's yeah. that? I've, I mean, I've, I've heard nothing of Scalebound for well, at least not it, of any it, substance for a while. Yeah, I think it was at E3 last this year, um, but since then I've not really heard much of anything. Yeah, but uh, honestly, other than that, I can't really think of any other games I'm that hyped for with Xbox. No, um, they're usually pretty good with their exclusives as well. Xbox. Yeah, I mean they. I mean last year they were obviously talking about the greatest lineup in gaming history or whatever and they, when they when they had Tomb Raider um, exclusive to Xbox uh, Halo 5 was coming out Forza Horizon 3 which was then unannounced would have been coming out and mm-hmm. you know they really did have a great and Gears of War 4 they really did have a great lineup but now yeah. it's sort of those games are out so now what <laughs> yeah exactly and what's next Halo 6 I mean don't get me wrong these <laughs> games are loaded in my backlog oh yeah same I, mean, <laughs> I still have the greatest like, got, like, uh, lineup in gaming history to play <laughs> yeah We've had them games, so what's that? <laughs> what else can we spend our money on and never play? Yeah, oh, God. yeah, exactly. I thought the PSX will be uh, that. There's no point in having it if they don't have something new to announce. Pretty much, yeah. There's got to be something. There's something like uh, I know there's there's uh, five panels, and two or three of of which um, are unannounced. Hmm. Interesting. So it's going to so, be at least two announcements. So I think. Um, yeah, no, there's going to be at least two announcements. Interesting. Uh, and I do think one of them will be Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah. And I do think one of them will be um, Uncharted 4 single player. Whether that's just part... I don't know whether the Naughty Dog have their own panel going on. Maybe. Because I'm sure they'll want to talk about the um, new Uncharted multiplayer DLC that's coming out that looks great. Mm-hmm. Or the Pirate Horde mode survival. Uh, whether they'll just do it all at once. I think that could open the show, to be honest. Uh, Uncharted single player DLC. Could do. It's big news. It's very big news. Anyone else would be cool? Um, it's a long shot, but maybe a new Last of Us? Maybe. It's been rumoured. It's been rumoured, yeah. That'd be super cool. I love the first one. I would like it to be a continuation of the first one. Yeah, same. Because, you know, if you haven't played The Last of Us now, then... Um, what are you, you doing? Well, yeah. <laughs> it's, um, you know, also at the end, it doesn't. It just ends. Pretty much, yeah. Um, it's got a great ending, for sure. But we kind of want to see what happens next. It's like, yeah, there's... Uh, like Eddie find out the truth or what's going on there yeah I, um, I love that game so much yeah me too it's so, like, it's so miserable <laughs> it's so I, miserable I, I so love good. it so much yeah like, I just love the interaction between Joel and Ellie and uh, like it gets you straight away like with that opening scene oh, where, yeah. where you know Joel loses his daughter and you're like damn fuck <laughs> I can't believe this yeah straight away right how can you destroy my life <laughs> like in the first 15 minutes of this game yeah but then, like the, the settings are beautiful, and the the voice acting is with every Naughty Dog game 
just perfection. Yep. And the combat and everything is just great. So, so good. Um, yeah. With, um, with Uncharted, going back to that, well, I don't think we'll see any, um, you know, like on stage demo. Because I, you know, you anticipate a three hour story. No, yeah, probably. I think what we'll see is a sizzle reel of uncharted set pieces. <laughs> probably, yeah. Or the, the, you know, that are going to be in this. Yeah. So like Sam swinging through a, uh, a window and Sully nearly getting run over or something, you know, that, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, uh, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> I think, I mean, it'll be great. Uh, more uncharted, I'm all for it. Yeah, same. Because obviously uncharted 4 is the last one. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, at <laughs> least as far as Nathan Drake goes. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't die. Didn't die. We're past spoilers now. We are, we are. Way past it. We way past it. Um, but, you know, I'm all for more Uncharted and I love Sully. And, yep. um, he actually, he's actually, his voice is in, um, uh, the Batman Telltale game. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, he plays, uh, he's in the first episode. He's, um, Salvatore Moroni. Oh, cool. Which is cool. Awesome. And, uh, I like the character of Sam as well, voiced by the excellent Troy Baker. Oh, yeah. So, Troy, Troy, so, uh, Troy Baker's great. Yeah. He's great in everything. He is, he, and he's in everything, so. <laughs> yeah. He was in the, he was in Persona 4, which was the first time I heard him, and it was like a row of him. Yeah, he's also, <laughs> he's been Batman. I think he's Batman in, uh, like, so I don't think Batman in Batman VR is Kevin Conroy. Oh, yeah. But they say, I mean, Troy Baker does a mean Kevin Conroy. <laughs> yeah, he's. So, uh, Troy Baker's awesome. So I'm all for more Sam and Sully. Yep. Same. And I'm all for more Uncharted, most importantly. Yep. Good stuff. More good stuff. For sure. Faux show. Faux show. Speaking of games, uh, this will be the first podcast of December, which means it's time for the list of games coming out this month. You know that's not the jingle for it. <laughs> it's not. What is it? <laughs> you just made the list. You just made the list. Of games coming out this month. Yeah. Drink it in, man. Drink it in, man. <laughs> right. So we, uh, this list is courtesy of Polygon. Can so we leave out the PC nerd stuff? I can do my best. <laughs> the list, the Unless list. it's coming out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Okay, sure. Uh, so, yeah. Polygon's made this list, so if there's any mistakes, blame them. Sure. Uh, so, December 1st, we have Apollo Justice Ace Attorney on, oh, on Android and iOS. Unexpected. So, the, I guess that's the first uh, Apollo Justice game coming out on uh, mobile devices. Uh, highly recommended, because it's, I love these games. Um, basically, puzzle games centered around, uh, like, a, an attorney trying to, I don't know, get people in trouble, I guess. Sure. Doing whatever it is attorneys do. <laughs> it's, it's a great game. It's a great story to it, and yeah. Highly recommend it. Um, on December 2nd, the day after, we have Steep on PS4, PC, and Xbox One. I'm interested in this. I was interested in it when I saw it at the um, Ubisoft E3 press conference. Mm. Um, it's cool. And it does look cool. Um, yeah, it's on PS4 and Xbox One, isn't it? Yeah. I'll see what, I'm going to see how it reviews, and I might get it for Xbox One. Cool. Um, cool. Because I love a snowboarding game. Yeah. Uh, Skiing, it's got all sorts of stuff on it. Yeah. It looks great, so... I've heard good things from uh, betas and things. People have been very positive about it, which is good to know. Yeah, I mean, especially with recent betas and people haven't been positive. <laughs> yeah. Call of Duty, uh, Titanfall. Titanfall, people weren't... Oh, I mean, look at Titanfall now, it's wonderful. Yeah, they've made too many improvements. Um, yeah, I'm interested in this, um, because I like the I like extreme sports games anyway. Yeah. So um, I think I'm going to see what reviews are like and uh, potentially get it. Cool. Awesome. Uh, also on the same day Super Mario Maker for 3DS comes out a uh, sportable version of the Wii U game so which I cool. suck at by the way <laughs> yep and uh, would, would have been a video for it but the footage got Woo! deleted damn <laughs> um, on December 6th uh, we have Dead Rising 4 for PC and Xbox One. Oh, is that out this soon yeah this soon it's probably going to suck <laughs> I haven't say. seen much about it so um... Yeah, um, they've they've changed how um what the hell's his name? It's not on PS4. Not on PS4, no. Uh, Xbox exclusive. There you go. Here's Xbox, Xbox exclusive for you. Yeah, but they've just brought Dead Rising 1 and 2 and 3, I want to say, out on I PS4. So. Yeah, yeah. Just, I don't uh, know if they brought 3 out, but they definitely brought 1 and 2 out. Yeah, the exclusivity must have run out just. Um, so yeah, an interesting one. Um, they've changed how Frank West looks. So he no longer looks like this goofy reporter guy. He just looks like a generic action hero star. Ugh. It's like, oh, what are you doing? It's yeah, like, I would... I, to be honest, I, I tried Dead Rising 3 on Xbox One and um wasn't yeah, really for me. Same. Um the first two were great, I loved the first two bits. Um but the three they went in a different direction, made it a like, massive open world more serious. It had some of the goofy stuff in there, but it wasn't as you know, centre stage as the other two were. I think we need to sort of give open world games a little bit of a, a backseat for a while because yeah. 
There is so many. <laughs> so many. Like, I'm playing Watch Dogs. I mean, and I've got Final Fantasy on the go now as well. Yeah. There's two. Steep is an open world extreme sports game. Yep. And the list goes on. I mean, people are still playing GTA. Yep. Fallout 4. Fallout. Skyrim. Skyrim just came out again. Yeah. So many. Um, but yeah, I, the, the, best, the one of the best things about 1 and 2 for me was like just the save system and uh, like rescuing people and like just like the time that we had. A lot of people had some complaints about those kind of things, but that's what made the game unique. Um, but now taking all that away it just becomes another, yet another open world zombie game. It's like, it's like, oh, hey, you can put a, a chainsaw on a traffic light and cut a zombie's head off with it. Yeah, I mean, that's cool, but it's uh, it's, it's not a selling point for a game. It has to it's be a not. complete game. It can't just be gimmicky stuff like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. And that's why I didn't like it. I mean, it when I saw it, you know, on first glance, I thought, okay, that looks pretty cool. Even though I'm super over zombies, this <laughs> could, you know, try and pull me back in. It didn't. Yeah, shame. Um, still, it might be good, but probably won't be. Shame. Um, also on the same day, the Last Guardian on PlayStation Four finally, after ten years, much like Final Fantasy Fifteen, uh, is coming out. So curious. So so curious. <laughs> I mean, I've said that it isn't going to review well, and I'm sticking with that. I don't, when I say well, I think less than what did I say? Eight, Le- I said less than eight, didn't I? Less less than eighty on Metacritic, yeah, as I bet. Uh, I said uh, above. I, I mean, pff, I just can't see it. I really can't. <laughs> I, I I want it to do well. And I really do. I just I just can't see it. But uh, we are both going to get it, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll report back. I mean, yes. to be honest, your own views and your own personal opinion is what matters the most. Of course. But, you know, we are the uh, minor leagues of gaming media, and our <laughs> opinions also count. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, on December 12th, uh, Bastion on Xbox One comes out. It's an old, old indie game. You can't get Bastion on Xbox One yet. Apparently not. Okay. Okay. We'll be able to see from December 12th. But it's a cool game. I like it a lot. To, yeah, I mean, it's always interests me. I, I really love the look of it. I just can't believe you can't get it on Xbox yeah. One until now. Oh, apparently, if you own the original on the Xbox 360, you get it for free. So, yeah. For free. free. <laughs> um, <laughs> on December 15th, we have Super Mario Run on the iOS, the first Mario game on iOS devices. So that's cool. This is interesting. I mean, there's Sonic games for everywhere. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, that's not really a thing anymore. But to have Mario um, outside of a Nintendo platform is a big deal, I think. Huge deal, yeah. Big, big deal. I mean, it will be like every other iOS running game where you tap the screen and he jumps or whatever. Pretty much. Be <laughs> Flappy Bird with Mario and way better produced. Yeah, way better. Uh, I think it'd be cool. I mean, I, my my five-year-old nephew is uh, excited for this. And <laughs> he's had the uh, notification on my sister's phone for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. Because you can, on the App Store, you can sort of have it notify you when it's there. Oh, yeah. Like, he did it ages ago. He's really, he's, he's really into Mario and stuff at the minute. Awesome. We've got him a, we've got him a 2DS for Christmas. Nice. Good, good, good get. Yeah. Um, and on December 20th, you have the first episode of The Walking Dead, A New Frontier, which is season three, uh, on everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Your toaster, everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, it Telltale games literally are like the, they're, the, they're the slags of gaming. <laughs> Pretty much. Basically, you can get it on anything you want. Yeah. Got to knock your 32 turn? Go crazy. Just download uh, The Walking Dead, Batman, whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's very cool. Uh, I've got all the devices listed here. I've got Android, iOS, Mac OS, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Windows PC, Xbox 360, <laughs> and Xbox One. So there you go. <laughs> what? No Wii U? No Wii U, apparently, no. But you can also get it on Super Nintendo, Mega <laughs> yeah. Drive, yeah. and uh, Mini Game N- Gear, I think, too. The new Mini NES just came out. Get on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a new, new Walking Dead game. Great. I'm excited for that. Love the first two series. Yeah, I've got epi- uh, I've got season two to play, courtesy of yourself. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm really looking forward to playing it. I love the first season. It made me cry, so. Yeah, same. <laughs> uh, the, final, the final season was a hard one. <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't like saying goodbye to Lee. Yeah, same. It was one of, that was one of the hardest... Decisions I've ever had to make in a game. Yeah, same. Because he'd been through this whole amazing story, and Lee's like the main character. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you uh, finish the job or did you leave him? No, I let him go. Ooh, I, I shot him. You shot him. Mm. I let him go. I, I couldn't. I couldn't shoot him. I just couldn't do it. Oh. I couldn't bring myself to uh, have Clementine kill him. I just couldn't. Interesting. Interesting choice. Good stuff. So I don't know what kind of ramifications that's going to have. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you do know because you've played season two, but. Um, I, I I really loved Lee. I thought he was a great character. He is, yeah, I agree. He's great. And, uh, yeah. and I love Clementine as well. Yeah, sometimes awesome. Super badass little girl. 
<laughs> and I can't wait to see how she, uh, she, she goes on in season two. So I'm going to play it. I'll play it before we record next week's podcast. Cause next week's podcast, um, is going to be the last one before we have a week's break. Mm-hmm. Uh, although I still think we could probably pull a podcast out of our asses that week. Yeah. If, cause I get back on the Saturday. Oh yeah. So I think we could do a podcast on the Saturday. Oh no, I get back on the Friday night. So okay. we could do a podcast on the Saturday. There's no time difference. So I won't be jet lagged or any of that shit. Cool. Okay. Yeah. We'll do it. Cool. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for games of December. Okay. That was, you just made the list <laughs> of games coming out this month. Drink it in, man. Baby. <laughs> One gimmick. <laughs> uh, the, 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 I was about to say jingles. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. The jingles are still being worked on. Yeah, they are. Uh, <laughs> we, we did talk of official jingle. I need to make one. Yeah, and names for, that. that's the official name for that segment forever now. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> of course. Uh, <laughs> Uh, because we have to, and we are a wrestling and video game podcast. <laughs> we do have to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's talk about wrestling. I could talk about games for this whole podcast. Because, yeah, so. uh, I've barely touched the wrestling this week. Yeah. Uh, I watched, uh, in fact, I did watch Raw. Yeah. And I thought it was okay. It was fine. Um, it was every week, but yeah, it was fine. We don't need, yeah, we, we always just say, yeah, it was fine. But, um, I did watch some of Raw. I mean, they haven't got a pay-per-view uh, to build at least for the next few weeks. Yeah, roadblock um, weeks. Before we have roadblock, the second roadblock of the year. <laughs> yeah. Roadblock great. end of the line, which is a uh, bloody terrible name. The worst name. Uh, what the hell are they doing? End of the line, yeah. Do they, do they yeah. realise they've already had roadblock this year? Have they forgotten? <laughs> I don't know. Probably forgotten. Well, maybe that's why they had to add a, add a extra bit to the end of it, just to make sure, no, this one's different than the other one we had. This is end of the line roadblock, the other one was just roadblock. <laughs> it's like the sequel. <laughs> I'm sorry, that doesn't fly with me. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling bullshit on that one. Yeah. Um, so we don't really have to go too in depth with Raw, because if no. you listen to this podcast, the chances are you've already seen it. Probably. Let's talk about the main item coming out of Raw. Okay. So, uh, Sasha Banks regained yep. the WWE Raw Women's Championship from Charlotte. Again. It's a um, three time champion now, already. I think this sucks. Um, it's weird, yeah. And so why they're, like knocking it back and forth every other week. Strange one. It cheapens it for me and it also Yeah. Um makes the champions look weak. Like you eat why keep passing the belt back and forth? I just don't understand. Yeah, it's a weird one. It's a great match, I thought. Um it's the first ever women's ball to anywhere match, just to my knowledge. You gotta make that history though. Gotta man. make history. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Kendo sticks and uh Charlie did a crazy flip off the announce table. Um so that was all cool. It was just just a weird weird Situation. <laughs> with, with it seems like Charlotte wins it at the pay per view to keep up this impeccable pay per view record that she has. Yeah. And then Sasha wins it on an episode of Raw in the main event. Yeah. Now I haven't, I haven't got a problem with either woman being champion. No. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm happy that Sasha is champion, but I just don't understand WWE's logic with this. Because now they're going to have to fight again at Roadblock End of the Line, terrible name. Um, yep. And I fully expect Charlotte to win it back. Because mm. I don't think WWE want to tarnish this pay-per-view record that she's got. Hmm, unless he wins by disqualification. Mm. But then that would mean the feud carries on. and uh, <laughs> that's, The feud has to win. I think there's going to be some sort of stipulation to their match. Because didn't Mick Foley say, like, this is the greatest women's feud of all time. <laughs> and, it, it, you know, the last match deserves to... To happen properly. Yeah. I think the next match at Roadblock will have to have some sort of caveat to it. Like, this is the last time they fight for the title. But they can't, no more matches after this, is it? We need other feuds. Um, cause yeah, there was a rumor going around that they wanted to have a, a feud between, uh, Charlotte and Bailey. But now that seems to have gone out the window. Um, so maybe they're gonna turn Shasta heel and have her fight Bailey. Yeah. Unless Charlotte wins the title back at Roadblock. <laughs> they and can't, surely. Then the Bailey feud starts. But, uh, the- we always say this, and like, if Charlotte wins, then they have to fight again. <laughs> because Sasha's owed a rematch. Yeah. Like, how much longer can we, Triple I threat. mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, I've loved this feud, and it has been amazing, and it's, it really has changed the, um, the women's division in WWE. Yeah. And it's, I think it's changed women's wrestling everywhere. Pretty much. This sort of thing. Yeah. But, come on now. <laughs> how much longer can we really, Keep seeing how how long how much longer can you reinvent? Oh, so this is now the first women's <laughs> TLC match. It's the first yeah. women's Hell in a Cell. We, you know, we gonna have a first women's casket match and <laughs> women's. Oh, I don't know. It's just dog kennel match. 
Exactly. <laughs> Coming from hell and That's the one. Don't get all this sort of stuff. And it's like, <laughs> you don't need to keep doing this. We get it. Yeah. Like, and we, we've seen it. So now give someone else a chance. Like, give Bailey a chance. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, st- I see Charlotte taking that belt back at Roadblock. And I see her pay per view streak ending at WrestleMania. Interesting. Okay. When she loses it to Bailey. Interesting. Okay. Good prediction. But I don't want to see Sasha Banks versus Charlotte anymore. Yeah. At least not for end. a few months. Yeah, same. Give it a break. Seriously. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, for Raw, um, what else happened? Um, oh, Roman Reigns beat Kevin Owens, which means he's going to have a match uh, for the Universal title at Roadblock. Yeah, and it looks like we're also going to get Jericho versus Rollins at Roadblock as well because yep, we've started no. that sort of feud. But yeah, um, Jericho, Jericho going back Pino. to Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens, what do you think to that? Mm, I'm not a big fan of having Roman Reigns as the US champion fighting for another championship. <laughs> it's like keep either keep him in the mid card or take the championship off him. It's like don't know both. That's the problem. Yeah. Um, I I knew when he won it that this was going to be some sort of issue because he's mm. although you know everyone hates it. You know, I don't, I think Roman's fine, hmm. but he's, Same. he is one of the main event guys. Yeah. He's not a mid carder. He's not Sammy or, uh, dare I say it, Rusev, who I do think should be in the main event, but yeah. for all intents and purposes, he's a mid carder. Mm-hmm. Especially at the minute while he's in this weird feud with Enzo because he had his oh, kick okay. out. <laughs> um, <laughs> had a good match this week where Rusev kicks him in the dick in like two seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just I think he but who who can beat him for the belt that's yeah. the thing that's another thing he either needs to relinquish the title mm. which I do think is going to end up happening mm. I, know, I think they should have someone like Sammy beat him as like an upset match like, oh my god Sammy beat Roman Reigns ah, who could have seen yeah Sammy's in an interesting place at the minute I, yeah. I enjoyed the interaction between him and Mick Foley on Raw yeah that was cool actually that's um, a good, good uh, segment but I, I mean, that, that we're going to have Sammy versus Braun Strowman at Roadblock or whatever. Probably. Definitely. And yeah, I think Roman could beat Kevin Owens. Take the uh, Universal Championship. I hope not. Um, and then relinquish the United States Championship. Mm-hmm. Uh, it could happen, definitely. I st- really don't want it to happen, <laughs> but it could happen. I don't not, want not, to take the belt not... off Owens, not just yet, yeah. but his championship run has not been good. I agree. Um, yeah, but it's not because I don't like Roman. I don't have a problem with having Roman as Universal Champion. No, neither do I. Just, I don't want to see... I want Kevin Owens to have a better run as champion. I want to be like a dominant champion instead of just like a cowardly sort of... But I think in order for that to happen, I think he needs to lose it first. Yeah, um, I see your point. I think he needs to drop the Jericho sort of stigma that he's got at the minute because whether you know you like it or not, Jericho is such a big part of this whole Kevin Owens storyline. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And until Jericho is out of the picture, that's going to continue to be the case. Mm. So I think Kevin Owens could drop the championship to Reigns at Roadblock. Good on. And then Jericho, I mean, Jericho will go at some point. Yeah, he has to. Maybe exactly. sort of, maybe Rollins beats Jericho and, you know, Jericho goes away and does his music for a little bit and then comes back whenever. But yeah. at least then it frees Kevin Owens up to then be Kevin Owens again. Yeah. Like the, the Kevin Owens that we saw when he first came in, when he first came into NXT, and then when he first came to the main roster and fought John Cena, that Kevin Owens. Because hmm. we're not seeing that Kevin Owens at the minute. It's true, yeah. And that's what I want from uh, a universal champion Kevin Owens. Yeah. And Same. I think we need to hit reset on the Owens championship run. Just for now. Just for now. He, he needs to be... He thoroughly deserves to be champion. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and if it means Reigns having to have the belt for a little while, like, if, for a little bit, in that interim period, then I'm fine with it. I didn't have a yeah. problem with Reigns being the champion in the first place. No. But um, I think most of the negativity for Reigns being champion just came from the way it came about. Yeah. It's like, like- the Shield have broke up. He's going to be our guy. Not yeah. Dean Ambrose, not Seth Rollins. This guy is going to be our guy. Yeah, and it's like people just like there were other guys they wanted to have it more. So it's like, yeah, but, um, whatever. The internet it's wrestling fans, you know, they <laughs> are very loud. They, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they are loud and they made their voices heard. Yeah, definitely. But I think, it, like booing Cena, booing Reigns is the norm. Yeah, I think so you're whether right. he wins the title or not, like if Cena ever when Cena comes back and inevitably inevitably wins the title. Yeah, he'll get booed. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Because you'd have beaten AJ Styles or whoever's got the belt. Yeah. Uh, Undertaker actually at that point, that's who it's going to be. Probably. It, it'd be the same when, uh, when Reigns inevitably wins the Universal title, he'll get booed. So just go yep. with it. <laughs> yeah, just, just drink it in, man. man. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's about it. Oh, um, same since as we got in the bar fight and the best friends are now, so. That segment was garbage as well. <laughs> it was a bit weird. Terrible. Yeah. Them guys. Oh, and look who's with him. <laughs> uh, that, at that point, like, I turned to Lachie and went, nope. nope. <laughs> I was like, I'm not watching this. Don't I blame can't it. watch it. Yeah. But, it's uh, so bad. Yeah. But, yeah, don't blame me. Um, so that's been the tip for war. Um, Smackdown. Um, uh, again, not the whole lot happened. Um, Becky Lynch got put through a table by, um, uh, uh, Alexa Bliss. So that's going to be tables match at TLC. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nikki beats up Carmella. That's new, no DQ match at TLC. Um, Ellsworth gets stars slashed up the steps. It's look crazy painful and dangerous. Insane. Totally insane. What, why? <laughs> um, but it, what's funny about this is they fucked it up before. Like James Ellsworth nearly killed himself. Yeah. Until AJ Styles saved him. Yeah. I can't believe they thought it was a great idea to do it off the stairs onto uh, the floor this time. I know. Craziness. They were uh, like, oh, uh, hey James, remember that time that, um, you almost died? You nearly broke your own <laughs> neck by, broke your own neck by folding it in instead of, uh, tucking it up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to try this again, but we're going to do it off the steel stairs onto the floor this yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so if you're fucking up this time, then you're definitely, definitely dead. Definitely <laughs> dead. Do you uh, think that's a good idea? Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, WWE, I'm so happy. It's great. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Luckily, it's a good fine. And yeah. It was all good. good. So <laughs> it's good, not dead. Good, good times. Hooray. Happy days for James Ellsworth. <laughs> yeah. We're still living. Yeah. Um, uh, Luke Harper lost a match against Kane, which is dumb. So dumb. But I think what we're building is something about maybe having Luke Harper break up with the Wyatts. Uh, cause since, uh, them seeing him as a weak link because he keeps losing all the time. Uh, I think, I, I, uh, I think this is a good idea. Yeah. Um, because I see Ro, I see a release coming in Rowan's future. Oh, yeah. Same. Because he is, he is the weak link. Yeah. And Braun is now his own thing on Raw, not even a part of the White family, they don't even mention it. Good. Yeah. I think the ship has sailed with Rowan. Maybe. But Harper is so good that yes. he doesn't need Bray Wyatt. Yeah, yeah. But Bray Wyatt is so good, he doesn't need anyone. Mm. So if they break them up completely and just have Bray Wyatt go on his own, that would be my ideal scenario for the Wyatt family. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, Harper and uh, Rowan might make a semi-decent tag team. Just having them be like dominant, super crazy heel guys. That could be cool, but yeah. I'd rather see... Um, I, I would rather see Rowan go out... As, no, sorry, not Rowan. Harper um, go out and five singles titles. Yeah. He's yeah, so right. good. He's he, so good. He doesn't need to be wasted in tactics with somebody like Eric Rowan, who yeah. I'm sure is fine, but uh, I just don't see him with a uh, a big time future in WWE. Yeah. Whereas Harper is too good not to. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you're so right. Bray pushed to the main event after this Randy Orton feud. Uh, Luke Harper, you know, fine for him to be in the mid card because it's unrealistic, I think, at this point to have him fight for the world championship. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but for him to go for the intercontinental title, great. Yeah, he's had it before. He has? Yeah. He beat, he beat Dolph Ziggler in a ladder match at some pay per view. He's great by ladder match as well. For a fountain of wrestling knowledge that I have, <laughs> I, I can't even remember that. It, it was short lived. It didn't last very long, but. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, was, it definitely happened. It's a great match. But again, great. I mean, I'd be definitely fine with, with that happening. I think that would be best for the Whites all round. Brain, because he can go and finally win a, ch- win a, a championship. <laughs> yeah, seriously. See, Luke Harper's had the IC title. Brain's had no championships. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. Good point. So yeah, he definitely needs one. Uh, speaking of championships and the whites, um, the, uh, that, Ray, Jesus Christ, Ray and Randy, <laughs> not Ray and Brandy, as I almost said. Ray and Brandy. <laughs> Peter Merck and Alpha, uh, which means they're going to be facing Heath and Rhino at TLT in the regular match, I guess. Yeah. Uh, um, what do you think? Do you think they'll win? I mean, we'll do our predictions in a minute, actually, so we'll save that, but yeah. Uh, uh, so, I mean, I said, I, I said I thought Randy Orton would turn on him and cost him the match. Obviously, that's not the case, and mm. this is going to go on. Got a bit longer. Seems so. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to tolerate it for a little bit longer. <laughs> I'm going to have to delay the inevitable yeah. for just that little bit longer. Yeah. Do you think they could drag this out all the way to WrestleMania? Uh, WrestleMania? Probably not. Maybe Roy Wimble. Like, yeah. It's only a month away. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Randy Orton even spoke since he's been in the wires. Yeah, he spoke to him the backstage thing earlier. So, I don't know. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, Dean Ambrose beat up AJ Styles backstage after the uh, tag team match. 
And yeah, that's about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So another riveting week in WWE. <laughs> yeah. But oh, there's 205 Live happened as well, so I haven't seen all of it yet. Yeah, I haven't seen 205 Live at all yet, and I've seen a, sort of, a couple of snippets on Facebook of uh, Jack Gallagher taking on look like Aria Davari. Awesome. Uh, that guy's so great. I, I'm cool with that. Um, I do think they need to take it away from the big arena and have it maybe just have a filmed show at full sale like yeah. NXT. Agreed. The crowd will be more into it. They will be more into it because, um, you know, first of all, the they've not just had to sit through two hours of SmackDown, which is, <laughs> although it's a great show... It's a hell of a lot of wrestling. It is. Because I don't know if they're still filming main event or superstars before. I think they're cancelling canc- uh, superstars and placing it with 205 Live. Um, main event, I'm not sure when they're this filmed. Because people surely don't watch superstars in main event. I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I've... I can't remember the last time I watched superstars. It was probably when it was an hour-long show on Sky One back in the <laughs> 90s, maybe. Yeah. I think I watched it once on the WWE Network. It was like, oh, that's still a thing. I watched like one match. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Turn it off. It wasn't yours. Yeah, uh, but I will watch two hundred five live just because oh, yeah. you know I've got a lot of time for the cruiserweight guys. Yeah, same. Um, yeah, I will watch that. I might even watch it later. I don't know. After after Man United have drawn in the uh, in the cup, cool. And lost on penalties or something. <laughs> yeah, right. Football. Sure. I get. I get that. Yeah. <laughs> Manchester. No, I, I, just let's not talk football. <laughs> it makes me upset. <laughs> oh dear. Not not a good time for football. Not. Especially. Oh dear. And I've got even less time for football after I lost the Champions League final. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, let's go through our uh, TLC predictions. Yes, let's. Yes. Um, so the first match about here is uh, Baron Corbin versus Kalisto in everyone's favourite chairs match. You know the one. The, the classic chairs match has been around for years. That's right. If, you know, if a chair is brought into, into play in the build up, you know straight away it's <laughs> going to be a chairs match. Yeah. It's like, I don't get this, but why isn't just a normal D- no DQ match? It's like, you can't use other weapons. I don't know. At least it's not okay. tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs this time. <laughs> yeah. And bears. They have a bears match. Yeah. And hairs. <laughs> Mark, Mark, yeah. <laughs> Mark Henry versus a bear. Or something like oh, that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so who's winning this match? Uh, honestly, I don't care, but same. I'm going to say Baron <laughs> Corbin. Uh, yeah, same. He's on a pretty good run so far. Sure, if that's what you call it. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's... <laughs> if this is a good run for Baron Corbin then uh, I don't see great things in his future <laughs> yeah poor Corbin but yeah Baron Corbin will win I think yeah um, same this is really a nothing feud isn't it I mean I just don't get it yeah I, I'm already annoyed that it ruined the match of Survivor Series oh god yeah that's stupid um, just for it to have zero reaction on the following couple of Smackdown episodes <laughs> it's just I don't know did people care before not really do people care now? Nope. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> care less now than they did Baron Corbin wins. Please be the end of it. Yeah. We want some bigger, better things. Yeah. Shift Kalisto to Raw if you really have to. Because yeah. then put him in the Cruiserweight division. I'm fine with that. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, then we have, we have uh, Nikki Bella versus Carmella. And no disqualification match. I think Nikki has to win. Yeah. I think you're right, actually. Because, um, yeah, Carmella's had a, had the upper hand for quite a while. Uh, yeah. He's going to from behind all this time. Looking... Um, uh, but I mean, Carmella's looked very good in this feud. Yes, she so has. For her to lose, I don't think it would affect her. No. But for Nikki Bella to lose, um, it puts Nikki in a weird place because if we're looking at it from a logical standpoint, which as wrestling fans is foolish, <laughs> um, you know, Carmella would then be boosted to a, a higher level as far as championship opportunities go. Yeah. But you have to believe that Nikki's going to hold that SmackDown Women's Championship at some point. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, so I think Nikki wins, but I think uh, I think that's the right right thing to do. Yeah, I think so. Definitely. Um, next up, we've got uh, yeah. Holy shit! By the way, sorry. Oh, yeah. I've, I've, um, on um, WWE's Instagram, on WWE Snapchat. Oh yeah. Um, they had um, a slow motion bum wiggle. Oh yeah. From the house <laughs> show. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, you, you enjoyed that, did you? Best moment of the day, um, whatever <laughs> no. day that was. Next. <laughs> nice. I'll, I'll look at that I'll later. I'll share. I'll share. With you. <laughs> I'll look at that later. Sweet. Uh, next up, we have, uh, for the feud that will never end, never end, never end, uh, The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler in a ladder match for the IT title. It better end. <laughs> Hopefully. This will be a great match, though. It, oh, it really will be. will be a great match. You know yeah. that I don't have a lot of time for Ziggler. <laughs> um, I think the, the Miz will win, I think. I think yes, you can't do it again. You'd be allowed to win. But again, this is like the this. It'd be like the Charlotte and Sasha situation, wouldn't it? Because yeah. the, the feud continues and it goes into the Royal Rumble, and we have some other match, and it's like, yeah, 
<laughs> we need new feuds. We need to start keeping it fresh. And this is, I mean, this has been going on for ages now. Yep. So for me, um, the Miz has to win. Uh, yep. I again, I agree with you. Um, I think the Miz is going to win. Maurice will get involved somehow. Maybe he'll push over a ladder or something. On Dolph, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> but it'll be, yeah, as you said, it's going to be a great match. Um, Possibly match it. of the night. Probably, yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, next up, I've got uh, Heath and Rhino versus Bray and Randy in the. Uh, well, well, double tag team titles. I think it's a regular match. Now, do they put the titles on Bray and Randy hmm. and keep this going? Yeah. Um, it's only a matter of time before Heath and Rhino lose them belts. Yeah. Because I imagine Rhino maybe has political duties. Yeah. Now he's sort of a, a governor or whatever it is of Detroit. Yeah. Detroit. Detroit. Um. <laughs> Uh, and it's crazy that they've had the belts all this time anyway. Yeah. They haven't really wrestled that much, have they? They haven't really been on TV that much. No, uh, they've done some run-ins and stuff, haven't they? Yeah. But yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, and then do you have American Alpha eventually take the titles from the Wyatts? Maybe. I hate that Randy Orton is in the Wyatts. It's, I hate it's, it. It's strange. It needs <laughs> to be over. It's very odd. It makes no sense. No, it but then it's wrestling, so who cares? Yep, true. But <laughs> wrestling doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, the concept of wrestling is ridiculous, but <laughs> we love it, and we that's why we sit here and debate it every week. Yep. <laughs> we we sit here and tear it apart, but we we do honestly still love it. We do it out of love. Yeah, it, it is out of love. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because I, I still care about it, and that's how I know that it's just it's still out of love. <laughs> yeah. So the day I sit here and go. Welcome to Sunny and Finn's video game podcast because wrestling <laughs> fucking sucks. Now that's when that's, that's, you know the love has gone. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> when we don't read out of the WWE encyclopedia anymore. <laughs> we get a video game encyclopedia and read obscure things out of that instead. Yeah. Um, I just... There's one of two scenarios is going to happen here. Mm-hmm. Either Randy Orton is going to cost them the match, it's going to RKO Bray, and then they're going to you know, feud until the Royal Rumble. Yep, definite possibility. Or they're going to win the tag team titles. Mm-hmm. And WWE has a history of doing this. Yeah. Triple H and Austin. Yep. Rock and Mankind. Yep. Uh, the, the, John Cena and David Otunga. Classic. Y- exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I know. Yes, that David Otunga. Look at on commentary. <laughs> yep, the very same. Uh, M- Mr. Jennifer Hudson. Yeah, that guy. That's the one. Uh, yeah. Not doing much with that fancy degree of his, is he? Not, not a whole lot, no. I was in Harvard. Yes. Yeah, great. But you're were. sitting next to JBL. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Doing crap commentary. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is a tough one to call. It is. But uh, I'm going to say Heath and Rhino are going to win because of Randy Orton costing them the uh, the match. Okay. This is more of a a want than a <laughs> yeah. than anything else. Yeah. Um, so it's finally different. I'm going to say uh, Brain Randy. Just because I think it's going to, as you said, it's the classic WWE thing. Put a belt on him. Oh, it and really then, is. And then when they break up, it'll be more shocking, even though we, we can see it coming from a mile away. Um, because I th- I still think Cesaro and Sheamus are going to be the ones to take the belts from New Day. Yeah, now probably. they're best friends. Now they're best friends. Yeah. <laughs> they've, got they've, they've, they've won a bar fight. fight against some bums, and then they're, now they're best friends. <laughs> yeah. Actually, prediction for, uh, for that. I think the New Day are going to come very close to winning, like maybe to like a day before. And then lose it just oh, you before. Are going to break the record? Just, yeah, like a day before breaking the record, they lose it, and then that maybe sends them off into like a he- maybe a heel turn, maybe or just breaking up or something. Something's going to happen there, I think. Interesting one. Because they've been bragging about it for so long, it's like it seems too obvious that they're going to beat it now. Because would Roadblock be a, a, around the time that New Day would break the record? It could be actually, yeah, maybe. So maybe they'll lose it there. It should be to the club. Should be. They should really should be to the club. Yeah, they had a good match against them actually this week. And more. Yeah, they did. Uh, um, there's only so much longer that they can get away with it. Yeah, seriously. Um, yeah. Okay. So going back to TLC. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you think the Whites are going to win? Yes, I think so. Going to carry on just a bit longer. <sighs> God, it hurts my head. It really does. <laughs> it does. Same here. Um, right. Next match we've got in here is uh, Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss for the women's title in a tables match. This will be good. I've I've I've, so. I've liked this. I've liked this feud. Yeah, um, I think Alexa has really stepped her game up. She's taken to the main roster very very well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, she's so good. I love her character and just like her heelness. She's great at it. 
Are you on this? I think WWE are ready to pull the plug on Becky's title reign already. You think so? Yeah. And I think, think. Uh, uh, I th- think that uh, Alexa's going to take the belt. Cool. Um, I wouldn't be against it. Oh, I'd love to see Alexa as the champion. Um, hmm. Yeah, again, it's a tough one to call, isn't it? It is like, a really tough one to call because, so I tough. mean, um, you have to think that at least one of the belts is going to change hands during the night. Yeah. And you have to look at it from a uh, process of elimination standpoint. <laughs> yeah. And I've gone for Heath and Rhino to uh, to keep their belts and that gives away my main event prediction already. But uh, I do see uh, Alexa taking the women's title. Yeah. Um, but it's been a great feud, so I'm fine for it to carry on. True. And that's something he said. Alexa had... The upper hand on SmackDown. So typically, the person who has the upper hand on the go home show <laughs> loses. So, I guess Becky? Using that <laughs> classic WWE logic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna play smart and use WWE logic against them and say, and say Becky's gonna win that, I think. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sure it'll be a great match as well. Oh yeah, I think it'll be really good. Terrible match is always fun. Um, and then we just do our main events. Uh, AJ Styles versus Dean Ambrose in the TLC match for the WWE title. Uh, AJ Styles wins. <laughs> Ops. Plain and simple. Yeah. Ellsworth um, costs in the match. Yeah, but wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. Um, but yeah, Age is great. I don't think they're going to have him lose again to Dean Ambrose. Nope. Um, and, uh, this will end hopefully now. This will then lead to next week on SmackDown, The Undertaker coming back Ooh. and challenging AJ for the championship at the Royal Rumble. That'd be very cool. In which he'll win. Probably. And then he'll fight Cena at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Cena will break. Or equal Ric Flair's record. Yes. Good prediction. Yep. That's probably going to happen. Um, so yeah, if that happens, win. that means WWE sure. is the most obvious, predictable thing <laughs> of all time. Yeah. But that's what well, I think is going to, I genuinely think that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, but yeah, again, it's going to be another good match. AJ Styles is amazing. Uh, Dino is great. And about do for a heel turn. AJ Styles has <laughs> not put one foot wrong since he's been in WWE. Yeah, seriously. He's it's so the good. Best start up year in the w, uh, in WWE from, you know, you could, Say more than anyone you've ever seen. Pretty much, yeah. It's been so good. Even it's like little feud of Joko, like tag team and all that. It's great. It's always been great. He's made the best of everything that's been put in front of him, mm-hmm. and you you just can't ask for much more than that. Exactly, yeah. Uh, and he's always been awesome as champion. He's, a f- I mean, he's a face with the crowd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But crowd he's a heel in persona, and I think uh, he's he's dealt with it very well. Yeah, and. Um, I tip my hat to AJ Styles. He's been awesome. Yes, me too. Um, but yeah, I, I don't see Dean Ambrose winning the championship. But I don't know what's next for Dean Ambrose after this. Mm, interesting. But I don't see it being um, a main event championship run. Probably not. Maybe go after the Miz. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Go fight Go fight in the mid-card. I'm happy with that. Yeah, same. Well, yeah, we'll see. We will see. But um, I think it'd be an okay show. There's not that many matches, which excites me because it means... That the cards just not overloaded. Yeah, six matches. It's just the right amount, I think. It's the perfect amount. Yeah. Two and a half hours. Exactly. That's all you need. You don't need five hours to smack the uh, Summer Slam or whatever Survivor Series. You don't need that <laughs> anyway. I just you don't need it. There's going to be four hours of the Raw Rumble. I just can't. I, you just. <laughs> what are you filling it with? Yeah, garbage mostly. Yeah. <laughs> Spilling. <laughs> like when I look back at Survivor Series, you just think, God, their matches were long. Yeah, they were. And there wasn't that many of them. It was like six matches, weren't there? Yeah. It was like, God, why, why are we filling so much time with this garbage? <laughs> yeah, it's, In fact, there yeah. were six matches. One of them was a minute and a half. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, Brock and Goldberg are going to be in the Royal Rumble. We didn't even mention that. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a thing. Um, so one of them is going to win it, aren't they? Um, unless, unless they both cost it each other. That, and I don't know. Yeah. The, make Goldberg the rematch of WrestleMania is so obvious. Out. Yeah, definitely. So obvious. Yep, it's going to happen and Goldberg's going to win again. You think he will? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Maybe not. Who cares? Who even cares? Uh, uh, it's at least they've taken it away from the WWE 2K17 promotion. Now. <laughs> yeah, I thought. I mean, Paul Heyman had a good interview. Yeah, um, it was good. See, Paul is you know he's always been a great event to his promos, but even this week was even more so. Yeah, obviously he hadn't shaved, shaved for a week. Um, he had tears in his eyes. Paul was great. He's a great manager. One of yeah, the best of all time. Man. Easily one of the best of all time. Yeah. Um, have you watched that ECW program on the network yet? I haven't actually known. Need to get There's to loads of missing out on the network at the minute that I haven't seen. I've not watched Storytime, which looks very funny. It does, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've not watched the ECW program. Um, I, I basically just want to see Taz and 
hear the stories. I love yeah. all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And 205 Live as well. And of course, we've got NXT this week, which I think is back at full sale. I'm not sure. I think so. Because I think uh, from what I saw on Facebook earlier on, they're advertising um, DIY as the tag team champions on this week's NXT. Ooh. So good. Hopefully, it's back at full sale because I don't like these ones that are filmed before. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the, the big shows. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff all around. Is that time of the show again? <laughs> yeah. Where we get to read out of the WWE encyclopedia. Yeah. We've realised that the, the previous name wasn't really working. Yeah. It doesn't mean that the we show don't. can't be brought to you by a letter. Of course. It just needs to be shorter. Yeah. You need a new name. So if you listen to this podcast and you can think of a name for this segment, hit us up on YouTube or tweet us at SunnyFinPC. Or go and like us on Facebook and write on our wall there. Yeah. Um, but we are going to read from the WWE Encyclopedia. Yes. We like to find the most obscure things um, that are in there, and there is a lot of it. Yeah. Can so pick a letter? Um, let's see. B for Batman. It's looking at your wall, so a little uh, Batman pop figure. Everything of Batman. <laughs> okay. Bobby the Brain Human. Uh, Hey, that is A. Put the boogeyman there. Uh, Bob Backland. Where's he gone? <laughs> where's he? Where's him in there? Oh, yeah, where's uh, did make Darren Young great again? Yeah, that disappeared into nothing, didn't it? Certainly <laughs> did. Well, maybe that's to be on there. <laughs> I've been there like a ten years time. But remember then Darren Young, uh, <laughs> Bob Backland teamed up. Uh, All right. <sighs> All right, you got one. This is a recurring theme for the Sunny and Finn show. Okay. So I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> Oh, I think I know what's coming. This is definitely a Vince McMahon idea. Oh, <laughs> yep, for sure. <laughs> Big Dick Johnson. Yay. <laughs> lock up your daughters, lock up your wives, lock up the back door and run for your lives. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you ready? Those words come from the revolting exhibitions brought to WWE courtesy of Big Dick Johnson. <laughs> Appearing when fans least expect it, Big Dick loves prancing around WWE events and showing off his finest features. <laughs> I wonder what they were. <laughs> uh, he has appeared on ECW with the Sandman, wished everyone a Merry Christmas at Armageddon 2006, and at one point was even considered among the possibilities of being Mr. McMahon's illegitimate son. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> uh, no matter where you are in the world, when you hear the beat to his familiar theme music... Is it familiar? Uh, no. No. <laughs> you know who's coming, though, to give you a little something special to all of you. Big Dick Johnson. Yeah. Have you ever seen him in a while? Let's come back. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> Look at his picture. Yeah, I, I remember what he looks like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's burned into my mind forever. <laughs> Vince McMahon's illegitimate son. Uh, Jesus, that was the thing. The storylines of these, like you know that these are just craziness like, in Vince McMahon's head. Yeah, it sounds like a horn swoggle. Great, <laughs> Good. what a great <laughs> end to his great storyline. Uh. So that was uh, this week's reading from the WWE Encyclopedia. Yeah, more obscure, mm. absurd, ridiculous, pointless. Things from the WWE Encyclopedia next week. Yes, probably more based based on penises, in some form. Yeah, we love uh, <laughs> we love a, uh, a penis reference and a dick joke on the Sunny and Finn show, and this uh, week's been no exception. Absolutely. Next week will be no exception, and the week after that will be no exception. <laughs> this has been episode forty one of the Sunny and Finn show. Yep. You can join us this Sunday on YouTube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play okay. for our WWE TLC live prediction show yep please subscribe to our podcast on iTunes follow us on SoundCloud uh, on Stitcher and any other podcast service across any device that you may use uh huh but for now we are the Sunny and Finn show a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere everywhere so from me Sunny and me Finn I missed my cue again, damn it. You did miss your cue? Yeah. That sucks. I'm like, I'm like Baron Corbin, missed my cue all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for listening, guys. We will see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Divas.